Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our entrance hymn this morning, To Be Alive. Amen. To be alive and feeling free and to have everyone in your family to be alive and free. Oh, how great it is to be alive. To be alive. Every day there's a newness. Every day there's a newness. There's a new morning. We welcome all those on Facebook, with those who are logging on, especially those who log from the US and the United Kingdom. And we had somebody from China last week, so we just welcome all those. A big tree to be alive and to breathe and to spread our wings in the kingdom. Uh, oh, how great it is to be alive. We hear our bells ringing now. There's a new Darkness no longer stays. For the new generation will light the world today. To be alive, to be alive. Be free to worship. Ring the bell of your freedom. Ring the bell of freedom. Teach your brothers to live for the real joy of living. Is something we are now Tell your neighbor, good to be alive, and all those who have joined us, and in Thanksgiving for Mrs. Ayers and Cadence's birthday, we welcome you, those who are logging on, welcome, 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 to be alive, to be free, to free to worship, and to sit, and to revel in the wonders of the kingdom under the tree, birds, and uh, Lord, we praise, Lord, we glorify, to be alive, to be free, free to worship, Lord, and to sit under this tree, this big shrub, Lord, where birds and so many find place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of God's Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your Good spirit. morning, brothers and sisters, especially for those. We have some new faithful people coming in from China. We saw a Nigerian in there. We thank you. As the Word of God says, today starts small and then it grows into a big tree beyond imagination people from every creed race catholic non-catholic find space under our church and that's what we celebrate the aliveness and the freedom and the span of the kingdom and the privilege that god has called us to cooperate and work in this ministry so just bow your heads and we just want to bless ourselves the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the communion of god's holy spirit be with you always and with your spirit and we just bow our heads again and Bring sin before God, and God has given us everything and wants us to cooperate and to infiltrate and to just be part of the kingdom chosen, unlike animal and plants. He wants us to like be co-creators and facilitators and such a privilege. Sometimes you say, I'm working for the prime minister. This time you're working for God. What a gift. But we have fallen short, and we have sinned, and man has gone off, and as yesterday we saw in the Prime Minister's briefing, a lot of people are taking advantage of a bad situation and of the poor and evicting people and price gouging and taking money under false pretenses and having a glorified vocation. And Lord, put a hand and today the word of God says he will take a, a snip of a, a tree and plant it some, somewhere else. Lord, please not take away the kingdom from us. In the midst of the pandemic, we have our hearts softened for the many who literally die and hunger for food and shelter and life. So many people have died. 
We bring sin and we bring idols. We call using God and using church and taking spirituality for granted. And we bring the way we treat our bodies. This body will rise again because God lives in us. That's the secret of Christian living. He lives in you, in me. And the only way we can treat God well is how we treat the neighbor in front of us and the poor and our neighbor, those who hurt us. Kill them with love and win the battle and, and choose kingdom. And finally, the whole of creation, the moon is hiding and the whole cosmos energy is in balance because God's interacting. He's not going away, he's in the mix. He is right here where two or more are gathered and sacramental he will come under as he did in the Old Testament in Exodus. He said, I'll give you manna, but that manna was temporary. Yeah, do a miracle. I will give you my own body. Today we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through, through my fault, fault, through my fault, fault through, my through my most grievous fault. fault. And therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, virgin all the angels and saints, and, saints, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray for me to the Lord our and bow your heads receive blessing from this great big shrub this big tree this big kingdom may almighty God have mercy on us may he forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen we said it's good to be alive can you touch that aliveness in your heart feel the heartbeat and that is mercy and that is love and that is oh hesed Lord thank you for life and the life to free to worship and alive to breathe. Somebody's struggling with this, Lord. Bring new life to all our hospitals in this land and throughout the world. Mercy, Lord, and our healthcare system and our leaders and, and those who are struggling for shelter and food. We glorify God in spite of in good time and in, in and out of season. Praise God in all times. Trust God. He is never, he will never abandon us. Glory to God in the highest. In the highest glory to God in the highest. Can you key in your glory? Just say glory, God. Those who are engaged, those who are on internet, those who are those who will view us, those who are viewing us after this, we welcome you still. To God in the highest. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer. Our prayer. You are seated at the right hand. Lord, whatever we have in us, we just glorify you. The small effort for the smallness of our giftedness, Lord. We return to you. Do something with it. Cooperate with us. Involve us. Help us to be co-facilitators. For you alone. You alone are God. There is one true living God. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Lord, we 
thank you. We glorify you. And every moment we give you praise. Just close our eyes, bow our heads to prepare ourselves for this big moment, the liturgy of the word. Let us pray. Oh God, strength of those who hope in you. Father, graciously hear our pleads, Lord, and since without you, our mortal, frail bodies can do nothing, Lord. Grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds, actions. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please sit, we listen to Prophet Ezekiel, a real tough prophet, and you're going to hear how people distort the kingdom and the big powers of the world, and God says, I will take something and build something out of nothing. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this. From the top of the cedar, from the highest branch, I will take a shoot and plant it myself on a very high mountain. I will plant it on the high mountain of Israel. It will sprout branches and bear fruit and become a noble cedar. Every kind of bird will live beneath it. Every winged creature rests in the shade of its branches. And every tree of the field will learn that I, the Lord, am the one who stands tall trees and makes the low ones go who withers green trees and make the withered green. I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We just bow our heads, and this happened over 500 years before Christ. And this was really politics, and the big powers, like the big eagle came, and was taking stuff away from the... And that is happening maybe in the world where there were big powers like America and Russia and, and God had to make something out of it because people were abusing and hoarding just like what's happening right now when the big rich countries are hoarding vaccines and people are gouging prices and evicting people unnecessarily and taking money under false pretenses and just taking a bad situation and trying to be opportunists. But the Lord said, I will come and I will take away from the high and give to the low and I will build the balance and I will do it. So 500 years later, David and Jesus and all these people spoke about how God will take away and oh Lord bless the, the thirst for power and ego and bless our thirst for hoarding and clinging and selfish ego bloating. We ask our psalmist to bless us, to give thanks to you. Lord, make music to your ear who wants to provide a big tree for everybody. Bow your heads, church, wherever you are. Just let our psalmist bless us. It is good to give you thanks, O Lord. It is good, we sing. It is good to Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we thank you. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name almost high, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. It is good to give you thanks, O oh Lord. To just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. It 
to listen to St. Paul and Paul says you must walk by faith not by sight to just walk with what you see there's something invisible in that seed has a potential you don't see inside of that seed but that big oak tree that poetry started with a little seed dropped and there's potential invisible in you and me reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We are full of, we are always full of confidence when we remember that to live in the body means to be exiled from the Lord, going as we do by faith and not by sight. We are all full of confidence, I say, and actually want to be exiled from the body and make our home with the Lord. Whether we are living in the body or exiled from it, we are intent on pleasing him. For all the truth about us will be brought out in the law court of Christ and each of us will get what he deserves for the things he did in the body, whether good or bad. The word of the Lord. We stand to welcome the gospel. according to St. Mark. To May the words of my mind, my lips, and my heart proclaim good news. Jesus said to the crowds, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man throws a seed on the land night and day while he sleeps, while he is awake. The seed is sprouting and growing. How? He does not know. Of his own accord, this, the land produces first the shoot, then the air, then the full grain in the air. And when the crop is ready, he loses no time. He starts to reap because the harvest has come. He also said, what can we say about the kingdom of God? It's like, what parable can we find for it? And Jesus said, it's, the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. 
which at the time of his growing in the soil is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet once it is grown and sown, it, it grows into the biggest shrub of them all and puts out all big branches so the birds of the air can come and shelter in its shade. And using many, many parables like these, he spoke to them. So far they were capable of understanding what the kingdom of God is. He would not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything to his disciples when they were all alone. The good news, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light. Lord, bless your word. Lord, plant a seed in our heart. That you will, will you will cooperate and make us grow and, and become big and have people come under us and find shelter, hope, and comfort. Amen. So, church, we sit and we try to break the word of God because many of us find it very difficult to understand God and to understand what the kingdom of God is. That is why. In our puny mind, he always tries, he says, the kingdom is like. He can't even say what it is because I guess we aren't God. He always says it's like a pearl, it's like a dragnet, it's now he's saying it's like a, a mustard seed. It's almost he's trying to find out what is relevant to the culture. In those, thing, those days, agriculture was everything for the Middle East. So all he had to talk about was seed and plant and food. Maybe in this time he will come with music and maybe parang and carnival if he came to teach us what it was like. So just after Corpus Christi, you know the time of the rains are coming on in soil. And today is a very important parable and analogy. In the first reading, it's very powerful. Again, he spoke about it with the big tree and the eagle coming. The eagle was the big forces, the power, the hungry. And he's a come and cut off at the top. That's happening right now as we speak. Cement going up and taxi fares going up and people taking advantage. People having a glorified vocation and taking honest day's pay and not even coming and serving. So what happened 500 years before Jesus is even happening now. He says the political powers will take advantage. But God says I will come and I will raise up the low and I will dwarf the high. I will do it. There is a God. So 500 years before Jesus, he was talking about this because everything starts small. You know, the images he's trying to use because in those days, Christianity was illegal for 325 years and people couldn't even read. That is why we have images and that's why we have stained glass. This didn't happen to idolatry. People didn't, couldn't comprehend. They were saying mass underground and they were writing all this stuff. So you have, to be, you have to be clear if you don't get it because he's using imagery, allegory. He's using all these big imageries and he's, Israel understood the cedar tree because everybody wants to be big and mighty and get prices and, and take advantage. And God says, just like the big powers, like maybe in those days, like in the 70s, was America and Russia, and they're going to the top with nuclear power. Today is the same thing in our land. People are taking advantage of the powerless. But he says, I will do it. Because the principle is very clear. The kingdom is, just to clarify, I don't know if you can understand it, but all I learn is that the kingdom of God is three things basically. And, and it's hard to wrap your head around it. You are a child of God. You could change the color of your religion. You could change your teeth. You could change where, where you worship, where you, you're atheist. You are a child. He doesn't change it from the very beginning. God called us into being. So you could choose whatever you want. That is your choice. God doesn't change. God endures. He is love. So you are a child, you have an air, you have a heaven, you have a tree in paradise. We're going to come to the image of tree because that is what he uses all the time. The second thing is that you have a divine nature. God lives in you. I go back to, to Lion King again. No matter what, God, the breath that you breathe he, from baptism, he's sealed. God is inside of you. You could do what you want. I always tell you the, the guy, the altar server, he's dead now, thank God bless his soul. And he says, Father, when I'm looking at pornography, I turn out all the, the religious symbols because I know it wrong. Because there's a conscience, there is something inside of you. If you're doing wrong and we're calling it good, that's very demonic. 
But if you're doing bad and you know it bad, something inside of you has been awakened. And so you have a divine nature and you have an eternal destiny. All this tree, the tree is very powerful. It's three trees he's talking about. And he uses the image in the vine and the branch. He says, remaining, I am the vine, you are the branches. He's using things that is familiar to, with us to show you his connection, his cooperation. What God is really saying is that I want you to be involved. I want you to participate in my growing. That's all he's asking. But there are some things in the growing, you leave it up to me. Scripture says that they yet and he knows not. You plant the seed. You can't force a seed. You cannot force a seed to grow. Grow, grow, grow. You just plant it. Let it hibernate. Let it go under. And let it, you trust and you have patience. Walk by faith, not sight. Sometimes you make a chair and you're behind them and you're nagging them and nagging, nagging, nagging. Sometimes you can't do anything. You make a child, it'll make the mind and the conscience. Sometimes you do more harm. Let them mature. Let God the evangelizer. Let God the fertilizer. Sometimes you're in a marriage and somebody in a situation and you're trying to, to, to make God and play God. You have to trust. You don't plant a seed and every morning you dig it, dig it, dig it. You plant a seed and let it go and do it. Does it work? Scripture says that you plant the seed small. That's powerful. That's the first lesson. Everything starts small. I never understood. All of us started with one little egg and one sperm. All of us. Like a like a ballpoint pen, no, the, the, the bottom of it, the, the smallest seed, he, he says, is, is like a chia seed. You can't see it with the eye, it's invisible, near, but it has a potential because look how big you get. I hope my mother not watching, she always says, when you come inside the house on a Sunday, just tell the bishop, yes, my child first, then priest, I make you. Because she knows from early how the child womb and, and all of us maybe see things starting small. So the first lesson is that great things start small. Everything, you know, I just can't tell you. The kingdom of God is like a, a mustard seed. It starts small and somebody plants a seed in your head. Those who are listening and those who are here, just thank God for whoever planted that little, that little seed in your head. Some people haven't even had a seed planted. All they know is gone and frivolity and world. They don't even have a good example. And that's a gift. Everything starts small. It's lesson number one. It, it can't start big. Anytime I have a child and you, you know you tell your child she am forced, right? Let the child go through. Let the child bruise the neck. Let the child bruise the foot. Go and play. Go and fall down. Every time the child fall, um, fall down, oh, come up. Let the child feel pain and sacrifice and struggle. You don't have a church. You don't plant a seed. Scripture is very clear today. You, know? you, don't, you, you can't plant a mango seed and expect to eat mango tomorrow. You can't expect a child to have the value system that you have. It's growth, it's process, it's faith. It starts small. I could never forget in my career. You know, when I came to, to Pinal and I, I went to Mont Diablo and I hear migrants coming and saying, I know we will get started again, but I know long ago what Pope Francis was talking about. Smell like the sheep, absorb. God is testing the face of the poor. And he's put profan profanity and he's put sacred together to test us. It even happened in, in, in Aruka when they invited Pan in front of the church. And the incense at the mass herald was not incense, it was marijuana. Because sacred and profane must be in the church. Where else will be? So when the migrants come, they say, go Father, they're disturbing our worship. That's fine. And I sat down, I stood up there and something says, they had to get food. Imagine if we had to be a migrant. And I just, and an idea came. And I saw a short little woman from Mount Diablo, and I said, you, Helen, you, could you please launch, um, launch meals on a wheel? Um, we, what meals on a wheel? Whatever, whatever, just feed them. It was an idea. It was a small, small seed. Do you believe right now the Pan American America is looking at our ministry? The Bishop of Venezuela came and looked at it. We had a school running. Do you know right now there's a, there's a whole talk that only Penal has a safe space for migrant children. I'm not boasting, but I'm just telling you it will start small and grow and grow big, and I will not inherit it. Sometimes it will start, it will start small, and the person who claims to have started it, don't inherit it and don't see it. Moses never saw the promised land, and you will never see, Dixian, the great things your children will do, because we will die. Do not expect to see the tree. 
Because the tree is important. The tree, just like in Genesis, you know the tree of knowledge, and God says, he was prefiguring revelation. He says, this tree I build in here of tree of knowledge is just a reflection of what heaven is. Heaven is a banquet with a tree. It's a true living tree. It's in Revelation 22, living and watering. He's, God just given us images. In Ezekiel, he's saying a cedar tree on a high mountain, and look what powerful people, people who feel they have, who play in God and who want to know God, right? But at the same time, 500 years later in Christ, in, in, in Mark chapter 4 today, the kingdom will start with a small seed, and the small seed will be Jesus himself, and he's planted a seed for resurrection. There's another seed, small. In this small host, you can eat and drink on this cup and have, re and have salvation. There's a small crumb. Every word also that comes from here, that's why you have to be careful. You can't be walking around. You can't be, do this is an altar. You can't have any, because the Satan will want to let every little crumb from my word and the word of God coming out fall aside. Just how the, you, you, you watch and you, you make an altar for the word of God. You, you also have to make an altar with your air for the word of God because Satan doesn't want him to reach your ear. You're busy doing all kinds of miss the message. Because the, the whole idea is that he wants to plant a seed. And, and Acts, again, he says a tree. The tree will be, um, the church says the other tree was in Calvary. The tree, that tree bridge heaven and earth is a way to heaven. A small seed will be that broken body. It have a symbol. It have a meaning. It's small, humble beginnings. It starts with an egg and process, and it is quietly advancing. But we have to cooperate. The beauty is walk by, walk by faith, not sight. You know, born big, and you know you have to creep before you walk. That is why God could have come big and, and, and triumphant, just like the big, powerful politics. Eagle, as the scripture says, but that is not who he is. His humility, his compassion, his hesed. In a small, quiet, dusty, forgotten, sneaky, back road village, a small little teenage woman, he found himself small up in a womb. There is power in smallness. Climb high and see where you come from. Remember your story. Remember Sister Columba. Look what she did. And she never saw the beauty. She went back to, uh, to Ireland and she died. She never saw the, the wonders. And I know because of Father Clark. And I know because of Sister Columba. All this goodness. They never saw what the seed they planted and the big tree that's turned into. What kind of seed would you plant? And what kind of legacy would you leave for people? And I will leave. Mother Teresa, one little five, four foot eight inches. Two saris in a, little, in a little train going through, and God says, turn back and go to India. India, Calcutta, non-Catholics, dying in the canal. Small. Today, 5,000 nuns growing throughout the entire world. People longing to be with 50 countries. One woman, two sari, one idea, one mustard seed. It grows, have patience. Your story and my story, I'm not sure even Billy knows about it. Billy knows about Royal Castle. I'm not sure if Dixie or Harold knows. There is something called Mar. Billy, know where's Mar? You all know where's Mar, Dan, um, Barry? Barry doesn't know, Barry knows about leg and tie. Mar is the water from the rice when you boil it, that you throw away. You take it and you season it, and that's your meal. Know where you come from. Climb high, but see below. Keep your foot to the ground. Slippers was rubber slipper. One room. You all can't remember TV. TV, you have a black and white TV, not yours, your neighbor. You, turn it, you, you put it in so, and it, the, the neighbor used to put multicolor paper across the TV. That was color TV. It starts small. Now we have plasma TV, and on the TV is computer and multi screen. So, small process. And some lessons, and there are some lessons, the greatest movements and the greatest ministry grows out of insignificant people. Take, check it out, not significant. Look at Columba, look at Teresa, look at Helen, look at Mary. He's choosing humblest where it begins. And I'll, I'll leave him a little point here. Once a man, twice a child. He's had to come back to that point. It has, some of us will go back into diaper. Some of us will have attention. Some of us will cry like babies before we die. It's just a whole reverse. Just what he said in Ezekiel. I will reverse it. I will do it. I am the Lord. So the greatest thing, 
but we tempted to rush and we tempted to, but we have to learn to rejoice and let it hibernate and let it die and let the seeds die. You, have, you marvel at it and through the intellect and creativity and freedom, trust, it will grow and it will grow slowly. Take the risk, be patient, never give up on God. There is power in invisible potential inside of the seed. There is power in you. In you lies God. You are a child of God. And you have eternal destiny. That is the kingdom. And not only mostly essential things happen, it's also in invisible essential people things work through. Do the small thing. Celebrate the small thing. It will grow. That's the lesson today. I will make it grow. But people don't see the beginning or the middle. People see the end. Oh, he's a priest. Oh, that big house. Oh, they can play the guitar. Nobody knows the trouble. Every building was built on one brick. Every fire started with one spark. Every human being started with one zygote, as small as my fingernail. Every river started with one trickle. Every lifetime relationship started with one kind of encounter. I met God's a lifetime value started somewhere small. And every lifetime value system Trust me, started with cricks and mar and standpipe and candle and razor grass. Had no toilet paper. That gazette paper. Celebrate smallness. Celebrate that it has to hibernate. Don't rush God. Celebrate that it has to go under and, and scripture says it is. And yet, he know, we don't have a clue how it does. God will make it grow. Just cooperate. Just celebrate the privilege that you are being called to participate in the growth. We make children. Step aside. Let it grow. They will grow in rebellion. They will run away. They will go marry rock and a rasta, whatever you want to know. And all kind of thing against your value. Not a rasta bad, but sometimes you have a little image of what they don't want for them. Let them enjoy with the parameters. We can plant the seed, but you can't make it grow. Watch it. Fence it, correct it in spiritual direction, in healing, process, facilitate, take small steps and trust. Sacramento says, clearly walk by faith, not by sight. Even wrong things start small. Sometimes, you know, born an addict. It starts with a little drink and two little drink. You don't end up with five children in a family unless you're not dealing with a sexuality because you're just looking at sex with a person. It starts with a little glimpse, an eye, and that's how rapists come. It starts small. Nip it early because practice makes permanent. Because when you add up the small thing, the small venial sin, I say, that's a small thing. A thief and a, a pencil, then a thief and this, then that, that. Then you go to your house, then you go to your money, and then you go to your whole salary. And nothing but, no, I, I'm all right. Just so how the, the good starts with small, the bad starts small. Nip those and work on the good. That's powerful. There's a mystery. Jesus himself was a seed planted in Nazareth. For 30 years he hibernated and was isolated. You didn't hear about him 30 years. Where is he? He's the son of Joseph. How we think he's God? Why is he giving him your own flesh? He planted his seed. And, and then eventually planted on a tree. And he's up there waiting on the harvest. You know what God is waiting? The tree that I planted in Penal. And the big branches of Sister Columba and Father Clark and Mother Teresa and all the other great formators. I want harvest time and I'm not coming back until it may be producing fruit or according to my value. So he's, he's waiting. I plant something in you. I want, you didn't cooperate maybe. You, you didn't facilitate it. I don't know. You, didn't, you, you rush it. You, you dig it up. I don't know. You can't plant the mango seed and expect tomorrow to eat mango. I don't know. Are we responding? So my prayer today is, Lord, I, I, I want to plant the seed of faith again inside of me, inside of my church. I want you to, to see the invisible potential inside of us, in our children, in our relationships, in our ministry, where it started. The little gift that God gave us is invisible, but there's a potential inside of that seed. Imagine a poetry. tree. Father Janus planted one in Tabakit. I couldn't believe it. They said one day he just threw a seed. And a big poetry. tree. I will water it with prayer and, and patience. I will set a fence because people go want to come around the tree. Trust me. Pest. Diabolic thoughts. 
actions, people, unfair expectation, disturbances, go mess up the growth. They go throw pesticide. I will fertilize it with sacrifice and struggle. That's why I fertilize it with and patience. And my faith will grow. And I will, my household will serve you. And people will see the big tree and marvel at the wonders. And you too, Lord, with your tree at Calvary and your tree from Genesis to bring your tree into Revelation, you will marvel are the wonders of what you have done in us. Start small and just grow. Give it chance and patience. And let people from all over, non-Catholics and Catholics, come under this tree. Do not rob anybody of the presence of God. Just close your eyes and thank God that you could breathe. Thank God to start small with a breath. If you don't get this breath, oh, I marvel at the wonders. I marvel at your teaching. Lord, I marvel that you want to reveal yourself like in, in, in Trinity. You want to reveal who you are. No, you want to reveal what the kingdom is. Like, like a pearl, like a dog neck, like a mustard seed. You want to tell us, Ezekiel told us long time ago, it's like a cedar tree. And then big powers has come and cut it up. But the Lord says, I go dwarf them. And I will make the high low. I will make it low high and I will do it. But watch at your tree. Watch what I did in you. Watch at how invisible it is and small. But look at the potential. Look how big things happen in Mon Diablo. We started and went to the whole of Pina. And look at the Mother Teresa and look what happened in Nazareth. And look what happened into your little story in your mother's womb and how you become big and her mouth. Look at the process. Look at the advancing. Look at the opportunity to take risks. Look at the opportunity to rejoice, to cooperate with God. Every family have a oh, gift of children. Church, can you sing wherever you are and marvel? A building starts with one brick and one idea. A river starts with one little spring. Your lifetime commitment and faith starts with somebody pulling you to church giving your word and your value system started with sacrifice and struggle I marvel, at I marvel at the wisdom of this invisible potential in a seed and the gift you've given me Lord let me use it to build a tree that people may harbor comfort in spite of and while it's buried and while it's being fertilized and, and while I gain patience I will, there's need for spiritual direction and conversion and confession and healing and the process, small step. Jesus himself was a small seed on the tree in Calvary. And 30 years he was hibernated and walking in Galilee with the fishermen and isolated. And, and then he planted a seed and then he walked away and ascended and he's awaiting 2,000 years later the harvest of the seed he's planted in our tree we stand oh I marvel oh I marvel at the wisdom of I marvel at the power of a tiny ballpoint nibble that can write a letter and what God has done in me and you from your background, from your crypts, from your mar, from your one room, all of us have a humble beginning. We sing, Oh, I marvel. Church, wherever you are, I just want you to enter as you do. Lift your hands and thank God from that small little boy running, no pants in the road, could raise up and girl. Chill up. Only by faith, not by sight, not by digging up. We hum that quietly. The Lord says, Lord, I want to plant a seed in you. I want you to see the invisible potential inside of you. I want you to see the invisible potential I give you in the gift of children and ministry. Never give up on hope. I will water with prayer and patience, Lord. I will set up a fence around, help me block the pests of the devil around and hoarding and 
taking advantage of a good opportunity, taking money under false pretenses and having a glorious vacation, raising prices for the poor, evicting people when you fully well know they have no money. We will come out of pandemic, you know. We will. But history will write notes on us. And death comes. And you can't carry the cement with you. They'll make a headstone with it. And mark, Christo, rest in peace. Where the money gone? The house will be out of house. You'll be grabbing a house across the abyss. But you put out people. Your job will be doing insane. And you made a glorious vacation for 15 months. And didn't work. That's what he's talking about. Connect the dots. Fertilize it with self-sacrifice and acknowledge sin and the power. And let true faith rise up. A Catholic church is what this is about. This is what we celebrate. A tree that everybody will come and chip with a seal ban and the incense may have to be marijuana smoke maybe. I don't know but sacred and profane must coexist. Don't bring them in church. church is outside as we leave this church today there's a big sign you are entering missionary territory that's what the mass is about to go out and share not to bloat and become holy go and let them see your tree it's finally I marvel oh I marvel oh I marvel the seed invisible Potential growing, spreading, oh, and your word says, and yet he knows not how hibernating and it will grow. And God expecting a result up the mighty sword. Had I marvel at the wisdom, amen. Church, this big church almost. Billions in membership started with one little man, Peter, running away and in a fisher, unworthy man, sinful. And Paul, persecuting and killing people for church. Two of them stand up and build this church. Small seed. Look at this church. To the ends of the earth. Look at, God says, Francis, build a church. St. Francis. God could have got built this church, but God allowed you to cooperate. Francis built a church in Europe. And today we have a Pope after that name. Come on. We believe in this church. Stand and celebrate Catholicism. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, died and, and was buried. buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From, From there, then he shall come, come to church, church living and the dead. dead. I, I believe, believe in the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, the, the Holy, Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of, of sins, sins forgiveness the forgiveness of sins. of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. We move to the altar Amen. under the sign of a crumb. God comes, small, it has value, a small thing. And you will find new life. Bury yourself, hibernate, isolate. Go into retreat, go to silence every Sunday. Rest on a Sunday and you will find space. Fertilize us to rise again for the next week. Unless that seed is, goes on the earth and buried and stifles and God touches it, nothing happens. Blessed are you, Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy We just church. bow our heads and bring our petitions before this Eucharistic presence. We pray for Sherwin and Agnita Hudlin, Sherwin Warwick, who have died. And Lord, on this small altar, bring paradise, the tree of Revelation 22, verse 4 says, there'll be a tree because Genesis had a tree and Calvary had a tree, but there's a, a bridge with all them going up. Let Leela, let Veronica, Smart, who we buried yesterday, Joyce Rohaman, who we will bury on Saturday and Wednesday, and Carol Bernard, Lord, dying so suddenly. And that young man who got the President Award, Lord, in a few minutes he died. What is life? We pray for healing for Barbara and this Thanksgiving Mass for Miss Ayers and her family. Miss Ayers is coming out from a, a miracle, she claims, and has testimony for us just after Mass and Rita in Thanksgiving. Birthday for Hayden, Dixian's son, and Marsha, Calissa, Rugby, Marsha, Calbero. We pray for Thanksgiving for Asha and Owen Hudlin, bringing such great family and ministry in our church. Mon Diablo and Thanksgiving from his ears again at Stanley Maraj, who today, 12 years free from drug. Lord, he's listening, and Lord, thank you for it started with a small little smoke. And 12 years now, he's free from that addiction because he had to go through the recovery and the, the burying and the fertilizing and the fencing and, the, and not producing good fruit. We pray for St. Dominic's ROC intercessory group 24 7 praying on our chat virtually. And thanksgiving for Sabina and our council ministry struggling to get the good news out in fertile soil. Whatever is your petition, can you bring it now in this altar? Oh God, in the offerings presented here and the ears of your people, let not a crumb from the word of God fall. Just a crumb from this presence fall. You are real in both ways. And let the needs of human nature nourish us with food, renew us with your sacrament. Grant that through the substance they provide may never fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up let us give the thanks Lord. to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Almighty Father, eternal everlasting God. Lord, you so loved the world. In your mercy, you sent us a redeemer to be like us in all things but sin from Nazareth, small in a, wonder, in a mother's womb, so that you might love us in all things and show us the love in your son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours. By sinning, we had lost in disobedience. And so with the angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, Father, we give thanks with exaltation and we invite this mystical body of Christ to be present on this altar, in this church, in this Eucharist throughout the airwaves, as we all now acclaim. Celebrate church, heaven and earth.
And we thank God for all the rhythm and the culture and the creativity and the freedom to worship. Long time we cannot even beat a drum or dance to our music in church. We celebrate that with our Caribbean people. But all that we are, the seed of our creativity and freedom and resistance we bring to you, God. And thank you for the freedom. It was a European church for many years. We have come a long way. Our trees spread throughout the all. Just join your hands and clasp your hand and, and thank God for Caribbean people so far off that even have to fight from rich, powerful nations now to get help out of this pandemic. Lord, you're holy indeed. You're the font of all holiness. Come make holy there for these gifts, we pray. By sending on your spirit upon them like Jew fall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, he gave thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples and he said, take this, all of you, eat. This is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a small host, creator comes. Lord, let us walk not by sight, as the second reading Paul says. Walk by faith that this could nourish us from within and become Eucharistic livers. People may see the tree that came from this seed planted. By our peace and harmony, we live by the doubles vendor in the marketplace, in the cannibal man, in the fed. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and he said, take this, all of you drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Just bow your heads, church, and Thousands of years ago, he had a miracle, freeing his people, and he threw bread, manna. And now he says, no manna, they are dead, I give you me. Prefiguring the tree from Genesis to the tree in Calvary, to a tree in Revelation. What a God trying to connect the kingdom through these evocative symbols. Bow your heads and thank God for that seed of faith that we Catholics could believe especially on a Sunday. The mystery, true mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the Stand wherever you are and have your hands clasped to make reverence to our God and let not let the wood fall apart and with the pesticide of distraction. Easy to get distracted, trust me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death, resurrection, Lord, we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Lord, giving you thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Lord, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church, Lord. Start it with one little seed. Spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, inclusivity, peace, and harmony, together with Francis I, our Pope, Charles Jason Gordon, our bishop, and all the clergy. 
Lord, remember those who have died, Lord, since May, almost 400 people have died in one month, Lord. And almost 4 million people in this world, Lord. Lord, bring an end to this culture of death and a culture of hoarding and abuse of the poor. Remember Sherwin and Agnita and Leela and Joyce and Veronica and Carol Bernard and those who will die tonight. Lord, if we receive our calling tonight, help us to make it to the other end of that tree. Lord, remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. He too, Lord, started small. Carpenter. St. Dominic. St. Dominic. St. Dominic. St. Dominic. St. Dominic. St. Dominic. Pray for us. St. Dominic. Pray for us. Ask St. Dominic to bring an end to this pandemic. Go back to our livelihood and people can eat. Lord, remember all, all our saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to the life, Father. We may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Lord, deliver us from that pesticide and that people who want to jump the fence to damage the seed of faith and that we have planted and want to dig up the soil and rush it. Grant peace nowadays, and by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin. Father, keep us safe from all distress and due worry, impatience, rush. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and yours now. Lord, you said in the word, I myself will do it. That's what you said in Ezekiel. Start small. Build a kingdom for me. I am awaiting a reward after I planted that seed at Calvary. Look at our sin. Look at the faith of this church. Lord, look at your church throughout this world. The Mother Teresa's and the Francis's and so many of us here in our community who spread our branches to include everybody. Grant peace and unity in our kingdom. Where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Can you offer somebody close to you sign a peace? Amen, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Sing, church, cry out Lamb to the Lamb of God, of sacrifice God, and struggle and suffering. What our seed is buried in suffering and sacrifice and struggle. Sing church, all of us been through it. That's just the cost. Us beside for ship. And thank you for all those who are locked down and those who are silent. We respect your sacred moments. But key in your communion, your spiritual communion prayer. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us all safe. Lord, protect us from this virus and protect us from all those who want to jump the fence in our garden. Especially those who want to come in the church, in the church, coming over the fence to desecrate your tree of faith. 
This is Jesus. This is Emmanuel. This is something started real small in Nazareth and now small in a crumb on the altar of God. This is Jesus. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with us in this sacrament. Come receive him. Adore him. This is Jesus. just bow your heads and have your spiritual communion I love you Lord I love you above all things and we just ask Lord that you minister and since I can't receive you sacramentally because of restrictions and regulations Lord come at least spiritually into my heart Lord come and fertilize and fence and Rejuvenate through spiritual direction, sacrament of reconciliation, through rest and through hibernation. So I'm going to go through a low moment, quiet moment, before the tree sprouts up. That's the marvel of the wisdom of this tree. Small little tree, small as a ball, point, pen, nib. Will grow into a, a shrub and birds and parasites and bees and the world will comfort. From your mother's womb, and one sperm and one over met, a saint is born. Francis, Teresa, you and me. It only takes a spark, it only takes a spring, it only takes a yes to start a fire. Can you sing, church, as we? I just want to welcome Miss Ears. This mass is for you and your family and your ministry in Rock Road. And we know you had a spark and it never dimmed while you were there. Wondrous, wondrous. And so many were in hospital and. What a wondrous time uh, that we could stand back in this time of pandemic and reflect and still now see uh, at least a light at the end of the tunnel and encourage people, those who are eligible, to consider the vaccine. And hear a story from a woman of faith from our community who was challenged and had to go and hibernate and isolate in the hospital and she wants to talk to us and speak and through a testimony what a wondrous time Lord so I just invite you to key in your beginnings can you celebrate your humble beginnings and who planted the seed and who planted value system in us and 
may be alive or dead and offer this mass for them and for those for whom this mass has been offered. I just invite you, praying, virtual church, let us connect, let us engage. I'll shout it from the mountain top. Praise God. I want the world to know the Lord of life has come to us. I want to pass it on. Bless Lord. So we thank you, Lord, for Miss Ears, and she is here with us. Thank you, Miss Ears. Welcome to our ministry. Hello, yes, Miss Ears, you can minister to us. Good morning. Morning. I guess we like to praise God and thank God. Amen. For what he has done for me. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, and I am saying that God is real in everyone's life. And if God has called you to take a vaccine, do not say no. Go ahead and do what God wants of you. Please, please. Oh dear, it's not an easy place. Amen. I just ask God to strengthen everyone. Thank God for Father Christo in a special way. And all who have offered all prayers for me. My dear brothers and sisters, keep serving the Lord. Amen. Keep serving the Lord. I do not say I am not doing this and I am not doing that. It is up to you what you will want to do. But do not refuse the vaccine. I ask God's blessing upon you this day. I thank you again very much. Miss Ears, how was your stay in the hospital? Oh, okay. Miss Ears? Miss Ears, how was your stay in the hospital? Huh? How was your stay in the hospital? How was your experience in the hospital? My stay in the hospital wasn't a happy one. My stay in the hospital shows that we we need help. We need people to come forward and help to, to, to save lives. My dear son, it's a very hard task in that hospital. Amen. I, I never knew what a refugee camp was, but I believe it's similar to that. And we need we need people to give themselves to the Lord and come in service to others. Amen. So, Miss Yes, thank you because I know you at your uh, age, you're not a spring chicken, and it was really hard for you to go through that experience well, in the hospital. Well, my dear, you can't get a cup of hot tea because nobody can. And, no and tea? The nurses are, uh, no. no. No bathroom no, sometimes. No, can't get nothing hot. And when the meal did reach you, it's kind of cold, you could bury it. So, you see, we need, we need Trinidad and Tobago, we need help. We need people to help, to give what of the help that others perhaps could be able, brothers and sisters, to serve. Because there's a time when you can't get nobody to care for you. How much money you could have, you cannot get nobody to care for you. I pray, we pray that God would open areas that people will give their lives to serve. Miss Ears, how your faith yes. helped you at hospital? How your faith helped you? That small seed of faith, how it helped you come through all this when people were dying around you? How did it work? Your faith, your well, seed. Much didn't die around me, but you see, I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I have just come from all the Holy uh, Spirit um, prayers. And I believe that there's no other person in the world could help you but the Holy Spirit. And when I couldn't walk, I, the voice said, get up. And I get up and I start to walk. Amen. This present time. That's the faith you had. Amen. People must believe in the Holy Spirit. Amen. There's no other way but the Holy Spirit guidance. And hold on to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for I your... I have people I wish you could share, wish they could share what they have. It's a sad, sad thing to know that you have 
I mean, not, not even one person you could call and ask just to hand you a glass of water. Amen. Nobody. Do not take your riches and leave it under the, the, the table. Share to the world. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Messias. It only takes a spark. It takes one woman, you know, her faith to pull out through this hospital experience where many people don't come out to this mass. It only takes a spark to get the fire going and soon That's how it is with God's love. It starts small, it grows unattended. No one knows how, yet we don't know how. Amen. Pass it on. Oh, sacrament most holy. All praise. Giving be every moment. moment the promise of Jesus whoever eats my body and drinks my blood lives in me I live in them I will raise you up on the last day O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine let us pray we just bless God and thank God to protect us defense us around especially our seed of faith planted by us by some way some encounter Sir Michael the archangel defend us in his day of battle be our safeguard against the wickedness, snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the power of God, trust into hell, Satan, and all evil spirits who wander through this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Let us pray, O God, as this reception of your Holy Communion foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so that it may bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Announcements, just remember we have Mass at 11 today. And every Friday at 6 o'clock here in Penal. On Mondays, know your faith. This week, ask why Mary? Why not go straight to God when the Bible says there's only one mediator in 1 Timothy 3? Why are we violating 1 Timothy 3? Come to understand the faith at 6 o'clock on Facebook and 8 o'clock on Trinity TV. And also, every day you can go back and look at it on Catholic TT YouTube. Okay, this we had one last week about statues and apologetics and why you have to defend and defend and and explain the faith this week you're going to have. Why not go through it true? Why go through people? And why go to Mary? Is Mary dead? And the, the word of God says there is only one mediator. Come and find out that on Monday evening at 6 on our Facebook, Trinity TV, Facebook, St. Dominic's ROC, and Trinity TV live on TV at 8 o'clock. And then continuing, you're going to see it on YouTube, Catholic TT. Amen? Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may it come down upon you, preserve you from all that is evil, protect you at this time and pandemic, and grant you life everlasting in the tree of heaven. Amen. Thanks, be, Thanks to God. be to God. Go glorify God with your lives. Thanks be to As God. As you leave this chapel and your virtual chapel, remember you're going into missionary disciple. Become what you receive from the Word and the Eucharist. Amen? Amen. Our recessional hymn is? Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord.